is Holly and I'm in the affluent area of Parsons Green in London today where Finding Country have invited me to explore what might seem from the outside to be a traditional London townhouse but inside let me tell you it's unique it's stylish right up my street so I can't wait to explore come on inside Right, we're in and we enter directly into this huge reception space. It's lovely and open and bright with the white walls, but then I love that the owners have really played with texture. So we've got the stone floors, which are giving me a kind of a Greek Santorini vibe, complemented by the fur on the rugs and the throws, kind of Scandinavian in its feel. Now, I've never seen a feature wall like this before either. The mirrored walls on either side really open this space up and the symmetry paired with that natural feel of the texture, it's really very special. Now, this isn't something you see every day. I love that the inclusion of all these really quirky bits make this property even more unique. And you can tell that the vendor has got a really quirky style. So this reception space as well exits out onto the terrace. Now this terrace is one of the first of many outdoor spaces that this property boasts. Quite unusual for a London home. This would be the perfect spot to enjoy a drink of an evening after you've been in the reception room. And I love that we get that sneak peek to the garden down below. We've headed downstairs now to the lower ground floor and of course how can you ignore this amazing view that's really tempting you outside especially in this sunshine but I think we'll go over to the kitchen first. The first thing you notice is of course how open and light and bright it is and we've got the monochrome effect continuing from upstairs to tie all of the interiors together. Now down here we have got the most beautiful cabinetry, but you'll never guess what's hidden behind them. So we've got all of the high-tech appliances in here, Gaganel oven and touchscreen microwave as well. And even more on the other side of the kitchen, even a barbecue grill. So all of the modern conveniences in this kitchen. So with all of the open space, I know that you could just host the best parties in here. Now this open plan space actually spans the whole length of the house. So this is the perfect area for entertaining. We've got the inside to outside feel. I can imagine guests mingling around the dining table, someone cooking up a storm. It's just perfect, especially in the summer, but you could still have great parties here in the winter because there is underfloor heating as well. Now, just around this corner, there is a room that we don't get to see very often, especially in London homes, so I'm gonna show you now. How cozy, but still trendy and modern is this space. I love that we've got that contrast with all of the dark interiors in here to the rest of the light and bright house. I just think that this room is so versatile as well though. You could turn it into maybe a playroom for kids or a study. For me, I would definitely be keeping it as this lovely cinema room though. So by now I have been to plenty of London properties so I understand the challenge of trying to find outdoor space. Decent outdoor space like this is hard to come by. So here we've got space for a lawn area and a swimming pool. There's even an outdoor shower as well. So this is a great entertaining space. And behind this unassuming water feature is something that I'm sure you won't be expecting. At the end of the 
garden, we've got a one bedroom self-contained apartment. Now this is not just your average annex. We've got a fully fitted kitchen and a seating area and the interior design is much like the inside of the main house as well with all of those mirrored walls. There is a full bedroom and an ensuite upstairs so let's head up. Up here, following on that minimalistic theme, we've got a lovely decorated bedroom with a full ensuite with those marble tiles and the mirrored walls yet again. There are even more rooms to discover upstairs and if you're already thinking well this home has everything that I could hope for, the location is actually one of the key factors as well. This property is located in Parsons Green, an affluent residential area in Fulham, London. The area has a real village feel and the neighbourhood hosts a weekly farmers market and annual events that bring the community together. The desirable location is perfect for those who enjoy a peaceful home life while still being within the capital. The local pub, The White Horse, I've been told is one of the busiest pubs in Europe. And just a short journey away in South Kensington and Chelsea, you'll find the famous designer high street, Sloan Street, the King's Road, the world famous department store, Harrods, and an array of pubs, nightclubs and cafes, including the well-known Bluebird Cafe. There's a selection of world-renowned museums, such as the Natural History Museum and the Victoria and Albert Museum. You'll also find an escape from the city at Chelsea Physic Garden. Closer to the property, you'll find the nearby Bishop's Park, offering plenty of green space, athletic fields, a man-made beach and Fulham Palace. We're up on the first floor now where there are two of the three bedrooms, both with en suite, so let's check them out. So the principal suite occupies the whole of the upstairs and then on this floor, like I said, we've got the two guest bedrooms. They are both en suite with loads of storage and look how nice and flush this storage is to the wall. Again, no expense has been spared and you can tell that the owner has really designed this to their own luxury taste. So this guest bedroom has got to be my favourite and it's because of the ensuite behind me. It is mirrored from floor to ceiling, it's got lovely marble tiles and it's just definitely a bit of me. This bedroom as well, loads of light coming in, really unusual again for a London home to not feel built up. So I think this one would be my favourite. But I don't want to speak too soon because we haven't seen the principal suite so let's head upstairs. Welcome up to the top floor where we find the principal suite and I really do love this bedroom. I said the guest bedroom was my favourite but I think I have changed my mind. I love the privacy up here, getting a whole floor to yourself. We've got the ensuite bathroom separated by a really trendy frosted glass partition. There's a rainfall shower, floating basin and those lovely marble tiles again. You could even separate this space off to become a kind of walk-in closet because again we've got all of that flush storage in this room. I love the decor, nice and neutral, just like the downstairs with the white bedding and the white walls, but wait until you come over here with me. Now this space over here, I've actually been assured that it is quite normal for a London home, but not being from London myself, I hadn't seen it before. But we have got access onto a flat roof here to enjoy the sunshine in the summer months.
I have loved touring this city home today. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. It's super trendy and chic, but the location as well is so enviable, right in the heart of West London. Now, if you enjoyed this tour and you want to know where I'm going to end up in the UK next, make sure that you subscribe to the Finding Country YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.